All right, Fluttershy, this is a big break for me. I hope you're taking this absolutely seriously. Are you sure I'm the right pony for this? Of course. The plus size thing is all the rage right now. Plus size? You're a modeling plus size. Face forward. Okay, but I'm not very photogenic. It's okay. Photo Finish is a photography expert. Just do as she says and don't throw up like you did in all the yearbook photos. Actually, they use the same photo every year. What? That's ridiculous. Why? Dash was on the yearbook committee. I have come. Is everyone ready? Oh, yes. My friend is ready to go. All right, Fluttershy. Head up, big smiles, and squeeze your vaginal muscles. Your pupils will dilate, and that'll make you cuter. What? Okay. We're going to try something experimental. I want you to appear nervous. Yes. Good. That is perfection. Done. You are hired forever to be a model. I... I what? I think I may have pulled a muscle. That is exactly the kind of clueless imperfection I'm looking for. We will send a contract in the mail. Oh, uh, Miss Finish, what exactly did you think of my dresses? Mediocrity. I I'm sorry. I didn't hear you over the shrill ringing in my ears. Very well. Welcome, rarity's friend, to the moment before greatness. And can you believe that? She had the gall to take my dresses, my work, and make them look mediocre in front of a major fashion mogul. This is libel. It's not libel. If anything, it's like defamation. Although for a case like that, you'd have to prove that your friend had intent to wreck your reputation, which is nearly impossible to do in court. Oh, <laughs> Twilight. I didn't mean I want to actually drag Fluttershy to court. I'm just a little jealous is all. Darn it. Every time you get me thinking we're going somewhere interesting with a conversation, you crash and burn the thing. Oh my god, who is that on the cover? Some yellow chick in her underwear? That is Fluttershy! Oh my god! She's on the cover of Sexy Saddles! How the hell? How'd she get into Sexy Saddles? I've been sending them saddle designs for years, with me wearing them, no less. I'd feel pretty dumb posing ass first towards a camera. Well, sure, you would, but you don't have any sexy qualities. Oh, come on! Everybody's got sexy qualities. You just have to wait for the right guy. Who told you that? I've... You read it on the internet, didn't you? It's a thing a lot of ponies say. I I've seen some ugly ponies get married. To other ugly ponies, unless they were rich, in which case they married down. Okay, I will have you know that in studies with chimpanzees, a chimp will give up a pouch of juice in exchange for naked pictures of the alpha female. What the hell are you talking about? I'm saying an intelligent, confident female leader is highly desirable. Yeah, if you're a lesbian or something. And talk about crashing a conversation. Way to head off into left field twilight. I am an intelligent horse and a leader. You don't even know how to style your hair. It doesn't matter. I'm intelligent and built for leading stuff. You couldn't lead a band. A band is like a hundred ponies. That's pretty hard to lead for a beginner. I'm I'm a royal protege. I have a large library. I can read book. I mean books. Sounds like you couldn't talk your way into bed. I could. By convincing the guy that you're dumb enough to be easy. That is still a valid strategy if you're doing it on purpose. Okay, let's get back to the main topic. Fluttershy is a goddamn whore. You're a goddamn whore! Okay, lay off. If you're so brilliant, prove it. You're doing great, Fluttershy. You're becoming fantastically wealthy and everyone loves you. I feel miserable and I hate my job. Perfect. That is the favorite part. Also, I feel really awkward posing ass first all the time. It makes me so self-conscious. That part is also their favorite. When can I quit this job? It's incredibly stressful and I worry all my pets are dying without me. Your contract expires in forever less one day. It's perfectly legal. But if it makes you feel any better, we've opened an animal shelter under your name in every major city in Equestria. Really? Oh, maybe I can tough it out for a little longer then. That's the spirit. Let the industry consume you. Hey, I'm here to ruin your day. What's this? It's a court summons. I'm suing you on behalf of Rarity for defamation, copyright infringement, trademark dilution, and a whole slew of other pointless crap. This is absurdity. You'll never win the case. My objective isn't to win. My objective is to meet a guy and get married. Or something. I've been drinking and I spent all day working on this paperwork, so it's sure as hell not going to waste. Twilight, I, I don't understand. I'm rich now. I don't know what I did wrong, but I can just pay you. Nope. I'm suing you for damages to Rarity's business, which, in my estimate, has a net worth of 12 cents. Maybe I can strike a deal with Rarity? Now that I'm famous, I could endorse her store. Absolutely not. As acting legal counsel, I believe the best course of action is to ruin your career by dragging you through the mud and obliterating your reputation. Your dad has been convicted for, like, six felonies. Good lord. I think he means well. He just doesn't know how to express himself.
Well, Fluttershy, if your reputation is going to be destroyed, I can no longer associate you with my brand. I suppose we can agree to terminate your contract. You were unhappy, were you not? I... Uh, I, I... I don't think that I was happy, no. Yep. Looks like Rarity is proved wrong. I am a desirable waifu. Uh, I am so confused. Th thank you, Twilight, for saving me from this career I didn't want. If you enjoyed that video, please hit the like button and provide a little bit of validation to my existence. If you want to see more, then you should subscribe. Otherwise, your support on Patreon is how we keep going. If you didn't like the video, I'm really sorry. I tried my best. I spend a lot of time staring at the computer and sometimes I forget whether or not I'm funny anymore. Every now and then I start to worry that maybe I was never funny and people followed me just out of uh, a need to be part of a group, and then everyone remembered that I was funny because of nostalgia, and everyone just keeps waiting that I'm gonna be funny again, but I'll never be funny again. A part of me knows that's silly, but another part of me realizes that's how I got trapped into numerous, inescapable Facebook friendships, with people who post political messages that I want to disagree with, but I'm afraid to spark conflict. Is that what's happening to all of you? Do you all feel guilty about unsubscribing? Do you want to unsubscribe? It's okay, I understand! Did I remember to ask you to like and subscribe? Please like and subscribe. I'm sorry, I talked over the whole outro.